and welcome back to Puffles Creations. These are going to be our fun projects for today. So I mixed up 16 ounces of resin and divided it between the two cups as you can see because we're making two pots. And these little pots, they are so much fun. Uh, I think I'm going to get addicted to making them. And the, the other thing too is, it's amazing how the screw lid goes together. It works really well. I was quite surprised. So these are some new colors that I've just bought from Eye Candy. I love them. They they are really nice. They give good solid color. I think I'm going to go and buy some more colors. debubbling as I say and I know I repeat it time after time after time she's banging on again about the bubbles seriously if you spend so much time doing a project and you don't pay attention to the bubbles you're going to ruin your project so just take that little bit of extra time debubbling it will pay off I know it's tedious with the lid, when you add the wisteria purple, use the little silicone tool to sort of push some of that color down on the sides. These eye candy colors, look at that blue. Oh my God. So rich. I'm going to be playing with these colours a lot. <laughs> and I've bought quite a lot of golds, and some of them are more orange and some of them are more yellow. I call this gold. This is really nice. Look at that, it does, it literally looks like liquid gold. moment of truth. Now you can see with the lid where I mixed the clear resin and then I put the wisteria purple in. I didn't mix it up completely but with my silicone tool I kind of shoved the colour down the side and you get this sort of like dripping effect. It worked out well. I like it.
I love how shiny they are. And uh, I use the Let's Resin resin, which is my favourite, my go-to resin. I always use it. I mean, look at the detail on that screw top and they fit together so well. I was impressed, I must admit, and these jars are fun. Yeah, went together really well, really nice. See what I mean about that gold? It is just so gold. And with the no-con blue, that looks so good. And even with all my squishing and debubbling, I still got a bubble, so, you know. Again, the lid just screws on nicely. But we are not finished yet. I thought it would be nice to put something on the lids. So this is what I did. Now again, with this little sticker that I'm cutting out, they have a protective backing. I never bother to take that off because I find it so frustrating to try and separate the plastic protective film from the sticker. Plus, if you leave it on, it, it gives a little element of protection. It stops the holographic print coming up off on the back. The back of it is silver. It stops that being rubbed off. So that's another bonus for leaving it on. You can see, just I've got it on my level surface. Now this is when you will tell if you have a truly level surface, when you dome anything. That will put you to the test. And whenever you dome anything, because the surface tension keeps the resin in that hard line that goes around the edge, always pour really slowly. Even if you add, have to add a drop or two, you know, like this, later on, literally drip by drip, and then pull the resin out to the edges, either with a silicone tool or a uh, Toothpick. Toothpicks are really good because they're pointed and they really make a good job of pulling that resin to the edges. Second lid. And with these decals, I find it best to slide them in. That way you tend to get less air trapped underneath them. And when I'm working with anything that I put in resin like this, I always try to remove the air, go from the center to the edges. That way, you have a pretty good chance that you'll get all those bubbles out. And then you won't get one side of it tipping up or setting oddly. You'll get a nice flat design because the resin, if it has no air underneath, it will act like a glue and it'll suck the decal down. So very gently and carefully, Adding little bits of resin at a time. I know that was dangerous, right? Moving them. <laughs> I'm living on the edge. And here we are 24 hours later. I love the way when you dome things, it brings out all the colors. It sharpens everything up and it has that lovely shiny dome on the top. So yeah, I love these. Don't be surprised if you see these little jars coming back soon, because they were fun. As I say, the decals that I used, the butterflies, um, they'll be in the supplies list. Oh, I hope you had fun with that, I did. And thanks for watching Poffles Creations.
Bye for now. Mm-hmm.